Today I am in this 2025 Honda Pilot Trail Sport. Super excited to be in this. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a first impressions overview. Shout out to Jermaine Honda of College Hills for providing this vehicle for me to film today. Uh, they're a great dealer. They don't horse around with any markups, don't charge any markups. Um, and I've bought three cars off of them. So shout out to them for providing uh, this vehicle for me to film today. So let's go ahead and get started. Very, very windy here in Ohio. So I'm going to try to make this quick. Um, and hopefully the wind doesn't destroy my audio. So this is finished in crystal black pearl. I really like the design of the updated Pilot. And the Trail Sport is no exception. The Trail Sport adds aggressive tires, you know, continental terrain contact with some different wheels that have Trail Sport embossed in the rim. And uh, they're 18 inch wheels as well. Super nice wheel and tire combination. Add some underbody skid plating and uh, some cameras and some drive modes uh, to help the torque vectoring four-wheel drive system uh, go over different terrain. Go ahead and take a look at the back seat here. You do get captain's chairs in the second row. To get to the third row, all you got to do is press that button down there and uh, climb in. Pretty nice place to be back here. It's actually pretty comfortable. It's a little tight. Um, you know, I wouldn't want to be back here for a you know, a couple hours as an adult, but for kids, um, it's perfectly adequate. Got some vents, a USB-C port, a couple cup holders. Um, you know, you got to pass through if you want to get through there. Um, you know, it's, it's not, not too shabby back here at all. All you got to do to get out is just press this button and it just slides forward easily. Slide this back. Go to the second row here. Back here is a very nice place to be. You get a couple of map pockets, rear climate controls, um, connectivity with an outlet, some peasant blockers up here, which is nice. This does have a panoramic sunroof as well, which is super cool. I had a couple of people back here um, just to test it out that are interested in the vehicle, and uh, they said it was so comfortable. Even these seats can go farther back as well. They got plenty of leg room, plenty of headroom. Um, you know, I'm six foot and um, there's there's no issue uh, with space in this pilot at all. Even in the third row, I mean, it's a, it's a little tight, but it's it's not that bad. Do get a very nice looking dash here. The Trail Sport also adds these very nice uh, orange uh, stitches in the seats and on the driver's and passenger seat that are heated. By the way, you do get an embroidered Trail Sport logo, which is pretty sharp. Let's go ahead and check out that trunk real quick. This vehicle just came off the trailer, um, but you do get some space down here, so pardon the clutter a little bit. Uh, do get some floor mats as well, and if you just want to fold down the third row, all you gotta do is just yank on those straps there, and it folds down, and you have plenty of space to put stuff back here. Um, under here, you do get a full-size spare tire and a class three trailer hitch. This thing can tow 5,000 pounds, which is super nice. Power lift gate as well. Under the hood of the Pilot Trail Sport is a three and a half liter V6 made it to a 10 speed automatic transmission. Makes about 285 horsepower. It's about 23 miles a gallon on the highway. I think 18 in the city. Does have cylinder deactivation and auto start stop. Um, this engine's super reliable. It's been in, so many Honda vehicles. It's a great engine. I won't be flooring it in this video uh, because it's a new car. I wouldn't want anybody else doing that with my car, but um, great powertrain. We'll get into that when we take it for a spin. Hop in the driver's seat here. You get memory seats. You know, like I said, they are heated as well. Orange stitching, power. Uh, just climb in here. You get a heated steering wheel, your, inf uh, your gauge cluster controls and infotainment controls. Um, and then you have a very nice uh, infotainment system. Honda does a great job with their infotainment, no lag, everything just works. Wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, wired CarPlay, Android Auto as well. You get a 360 camera, which is actually pretty nice. Dual zone climate control, ability to control the rear climate, some connectivity, wireless charger down here that actually works really nice and holds your phone and doesn't make it slide. Uh, gear selector that I don't particularly care for. I wish it was traditional. I had this in my 2019 Accord. I hated it, um, but it is what it is. Drive mode selectors, this thing has tons of drive modes. Sport, normal, econ, snow, trail, sand, tow. We'll just leave it in normal because we'll just be driving normally today. A decent size center console with a place to store some pens. 
nice size glove box, some space to store stuff here. That's rubberized and texturized so it doesn't uh, move around. Auto dimming rear view mirror with uh, home link. Do get a nice sunglasses holder with a child mirror as well. Illuminated visor mirrors. I mean, guys, you do get a very nice package uh, for this. This thing, MSRP as tested, is about $50,000. Um, so it is up there in price, but I think with what you get, um, it's a very nice package. All right, let's go ahead and take this for a spin. I had to swap out the GoPro battery so this thing doesn't overheat. The GoPro, that is. Overall, first impressions, visibility is actually pretty decent. Um, you know, these pillars are a little bit thick, but I mean, for this size of vehicle, um, it's actually not that bad. I can actually see pretty decent out of this. This does have a fair amount of tipping on the throttle. Um, it kind of reminds me of my, uh, like a Volkswagen, um, you know, my Volkswagen Taos that I had. It's not quite as bad, but there is a little bit of a delay. Uh, before you actually start going. Heated steering wheel, super nice. I really like the button placement down here. It's nice not being able to hunt for it over here or over in here. It's a very good place for it. I was really surprised. I was expecting, you know, the larger tires um, on this Pilot to be a bit of an issue as far as road noise goes. I mean, it is a little bit louder than, you know, a traditional Pilot, but, I mean, I, I, it's really not bad really not bad at all it's quieter than my Civic now there is a little bit of a rattling a noise in the back uh, but that has to do with the dealer plate that's installed on this so you're gonna hear a little bit of rattles every now and then um, but no rattles no squeaks um, and would hope not with 36 miles on it now this does have auto stop start as well um, it works pretty nice a little bit of a delay and then you combine that with the you know um, delay of tip in on the throttle so it, it's a little bit of a delay before you start going but it's you know you can always just turn it off if you don't want it. It does have Honda sensing as you can see there. I was freaking out just a little bit because our roads are absolutely garbage here in northeast Ohio. The lines are just kind of not marked very well but like I said your Honda your Honda sensing suite you know for collision warning brake mitigation, adaptive cruise control, uh, lane keep assist. I mean, you, you name it, it has it all. We'll test that on the highway um, and when we get on there. Body roll, you know, as expected going around corners. I mean, it's not, you know, gonna can you carve or anything, but it does handle fairly reasonably well for an SUV of this size. It's pretty easy to maneuver as well. It's got a really nice turning radius uh, on it. And, uh, you know, like I said, the visibility is great. So you're not, uh, you know, peeking over stuff, trying to find out where your vehicle is. The steering is super, super light. Um, as a car enthusiast and reviewer, it's, uh, you know, it's, there's no feedback at all. Um, but, you know, for someone, the, the, who the target demographic is for, they're going to like it because it's just so easy to drive. I mean, you can literally drive it with one pinky. It's so light. I really like this engine and transmission combination. Um, you know, the three and a half liter has been around for a very long time and uh, it's proven to be a reliable and robust power plant. 10 speed complements this nicely. It does hunt for some gears occasionally, uh, but this is also new, so I kind of give it the benefit of the doubt a little bit as it's learning, uh, you know, the driver uh, when to shift and things like that. Plenty of power. I mean, I, I like I said, I'm not going to floor it because this is a new vehicle. Uh, I wouldn't want anybody doing that to my brand new vehicle, but no complaints here at all. I don't find this to be grossly underpowered or anything. This is one of the loudest, noisiest roads in the area, and it seems to be doing a pretty good job um, with road noise. Um, I did notice the fender wells are lined 
uh, you know, it's got carpet lined fender wells to help with that, and uh, definitely shows there. Brakes feel confidence inspiring. This vehicle doesn't feel like it's super heavy or anything, and that you you know need to put the push the brakes even farther down the stop. Um, I had a Toyota Sequoia last year, like one of the new ones, 24 or 23 or what it was. The thing was a absolute unit, and uh, you had to like push the brakes down so far in order to get that to stop. I did not feel safe in that thing at all. It was just a behemoth of an SUV. Um, this just feels like a my wife's CRV. Like the HVAC controls, it does have a very nice clicky feel to it. This guy's just gonna pull out in front of me. But it is nice that this has a tactile feel. Honda's kind of uh, got that across their lineup nowadays, and it's uh, you know very nice quality. You can't stop playing with it. It's like a fidget spinner. All right, let's take this on the highway. does have blind spot monitoring in the mirrors. I will say the mirrors seem a little small for this size of SUV. I would like to be able to see a little bit more, but you know, it is nice to maneuver in tight spaces and uh, places uh, without having to worry about taking your mirrors off. Let's go ahead and test out that Honda sensing. Let's do the lane centering or lane tracing or whatever it is. I forget what they call it. Everybody has a different name for that. Set the adaptive cruise control. Keep our hands close to the wheel. It's a super windy day, so this is probably gonna be difficult for it, but so far it's doing a very good job keeping us centered in the lane. This is one of the windiest days we have, we've had in a very, very long time. It does prompt you to hold the steering wheel like it should, uh, but it does do a very good job of keeping you centered in your lane. And if I was in the market for a three rail, uh, I would definitely swing for one of these. Get cup holders down here. My wife likes cup holders, so this would be perfect for her and her mi millions of water bottles that she brings along. <laughs> this is a very nice, comfortable highway cruise. Barely even feel those bumps. Guys, honestly, this feels like it has an air ride suspension. It's very plush and very soft. It's not floaty. It's just well dampened. It's super, very, it's super comfortable. These seats are super comfortable as well. Very well bolstered. Not too soft, but not too hard as well great amount of support. You get adjustable lumbar as well. Holy wind, Batman. This does have cylinder deactivation as well. It can go down to three cylinders. Uh, I didn't even know it could do that up until I looked it up, so I can't even tell you when it does that. Um, Honda did a very good job tuning that to where you can't even tell. Um, I had a 2019 Ram 1500 that did the same thing with eight cylinders. And you can definitely tell when that went into cylinder deactivation mode. It shook and uh, you know vibrated like crazy, um, and it sounded like complete garbage. But uh, this, I can't even tell at all. You know, a little bit of the downside about this vehicle is it does suck fuel. Um, you know, 23 miles a gallon in the highway, it's not that great. Um, I really do wish that uh, they would put a hybrid powertrain in this um, I think they would do a very good job so this gauge cluster is customizable as well you can do range and fuel speed and time the audio phone navigation driver attention you can see the torque distribution on the torque vectoring all-wheel drive here seat belts maintenance tire pressure safety support no content brightness let's go range and fuel oof 14 and a half miles a gallon yep sounds about right large oof all right final thoughts on the first impressions video on the 2025 honda pilot trail sport uh excellent suv excellent three row option for anybody um you know you 
you got to consider that the fuel mileage is absolutely terrible. Um, but you know, if you want to go off road, I'm sure this thing would do a very good job off road. I've seen a couple of people on do YouTube do uh, some off road tests, and it, it does a pretty pretty nice job. You know, snow and dirt and off camber stuff. Um, it, it'll get you where you need to go for the basic person. I mean, let's face it, the the, the persons that the people that are going to buy these. Um, are not even going to take it off road at all. It's just an appearance package for them. And <laughs> this would be real there. Um, but you know what? If you want to go off road and do some light duty off roading, uh, this wouldn't be a problem at all. I really like that 360 camera. Wish it had it in my CRV. Dang it, Honda. Oh well. All right, guys, that's going to be it for the video today. Shout out to Jermaine Honda of College Hills once again for providing this vehicle for me to film. It's been a treat. Um, like I said, if you want a no bull crap, no markup dealer, they're the one to go to. I've bought three cars off, actually four. Uh, I bought my 2019 Accord, my 2024 CRV, my 2024 Civic, and my Honda Moto Compacto from them. And each time I've had a no BS experience. Super recommend them. Um, I'll leave a link to this car in the description and a link to the dealership website in the description as well. Uh, make sure you go check them out and support them as they have supported me. Please be sure to like the video if you enjoyed. Uh, it helps promote the video and send it out to other people, you know, to pick up the YouTube algorithm. Uh, you know, you guys all know how that works. Um, if you liked it even more than that, please consider subscribing. I try to do car reviews weekly. So thank you guys for watching. Apologize for the wind in this video. I hopefully it wasn't too bad. But yeah, guys, it just looks super nice. <sighs> All right, guys. That's going to be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. Take care, everybody.